Okay, so last time we worked on making some bullets shoot and making our enemies take damage and explode. So now we're gonna make some spawning. So let's go to our bounds and create a new script and we're gonna call it spawn. Now, within this script, we're going to have a timer. So we're going to call it invoke repeating in our start. And we're going to call a method called avoid spawn. So we're going to call a method called spawn. And it's going to be called from the first two seconds of the game every other two seconds. And we can actually make this public and call it the, um, the rate. This will be the rate of spawn basically. So we'll just change these to rate area. Public load rate. Okay. Um, what's up with that? Is it spawn and rate rate, right? Are these not supposed to be floats or something? I don't see why I'm getting errors right now. Oh, it's because void spawn, the name of the class is spawn, so we'll call it spawn enemy, I guess. Probably should have called it spawner. Whatever. Anyways, we'll go to our spawn enemy and we're going to make it instantiate an enemy, which will be randomly chosen every so often. So, how are we going to do this exactly? With a really long line. So we need to find out a few things. First of all, we need to find out how high we want them to spawn. So we're gonna we're gonna put in an empty just for a little tester, and we can drag it around. So we want them to spawn about here, right? Which would be a seven in the Y. So we're gonna instantiate our um, enemies at a seven in the Y. And before we do that, we actually need to make a public um, game object array called enemies, and we're gonna put all of our enemies on there. So it's gonna instantiate enemy a random one and then how we do that we do random dot range between zero and um say the length of the enemies so enemies dot length okay and from here we can continue forth we gotta finish off with a thing there so now what we have here it's going to take a random number between 0 and the enemy length. So any enemy in that array, and it will spawn it in. And we're actually going to cast this to an int. And that will work now. What is this, though? Unexpected symbol here. I guess because we're not done. So now we need to make our position, I believe. Yep. It should be a new vector 3. And we're going to spawn it in. The x, we don't know the x yet. We know the y is going to be 7, and we know the z is going to be 0. But for our x, it has to be a range between about 8.5, say 8.5, negative 8.5, and, and positive 8.5. And so we're going to do another random dot range between negative 8.5 and positive 8.5. Okay, so now we have that, and we just need to do a equator neon dot identity, which will just instantiate it in the right direction. And that's all we need for this whole spawner. We can delete that game object we were using, and we can go to our bounds now. And we can scroll down, and it should have stuff here. But something's not right. These have to be floats. We can put Fs after them. That should be the only error, though. Let it compile real quick. Go to our bounds, scroll down, and we have our rate, which will make two seconds, and our enemies, which will make a size of one, since we have one enemy currently. And we can just drag our one enemy, our fast enemy, um, onto there. Hold on a bit. Onto there. Cool. So we can apply the changes to our fast enemy and delete it. And now when we play the game, it should spawn in our fast enemies, and they should be heading downwards when they spawn. Um, right, it can't call the spawn in the invoke. Forgot we changed this to spawn enemy. Now we can exit out and it will work fine. Okay, cool. 
No errors. We have a spaceship coming in. They're facing the wrong way because um, Sprite is facing the wrong way, but that's an easy fix, actually. We just need to go to our spaceship here and choose to flip it in the Y direction. And that will flip our Sprite. Now they will be visually facing the right way. <laughs> now we have some spaceships coming in. That's pretty cool. We could run this for as long as we want and make it a dodging game. You can make, um, you can even duplicate the spawner if you want. So if I took two bounds and just duplicated it, it's going to spawn in um, two spaceships every time now. But a better way of doing that is just to make a, an option for waves. So for example, um, we'd put this in a for loop or in die equals zero i is less than um, waves, and then i plus plus. And we got to make waves an integer. And we'll set it equal to one. But if we change one, we change the amount of waves. Then um, if we change the amount of waves, then it will spawn them in in bigger waves. So if I made this wave number, um, edit it in here. I made that wave number say five. I applied or bounds. There's gonna be five at a time now. Spawning in at once. There you go, we have five. They're also overlapping, which is kind of funny. It's pretty cool though. We can also not sure what else we'd want to do to our spawner, but I mean, that's that. We can make it so every time it spawns in an enemy, um, our eye will increment maybe. Nah, actually, I was going to do something with that, but I mean, you can just set your waves to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to set mine to three or two for now. And you can make it grow throughout the gameplay. We have like a timer or something. You can make it grow as the time goes on. But that's really all you need for spawning now. So currently we have ships that come down, we have shooting, so we could shoot the ships that come down. It just doesn't feel like an invaders game yet. Because it's extremely easy for one. Um, also these fast ships aren't as fast as I want them to be. I'm just going to go to the fast enemy and increase their speed to like 8. I was expecting them to shoot down like bullets. Also I kind of want them to spawn in faster, so I'm going to change the spawner spawn them in every um one second instead make it a little bit harder I and mean, technically you could just stand still and just destroy any enemy that's about to hit you maybe i should um do something about that and of course um enemies are going to be firing back sooner or later i gotta add that in and they'll have more health. I guess we'll add some visual effects. So I'm curious what the enemy will look like if I apply a red tint. Oh, I see. Also, um, the rotation seems to be a problem here. Okay. Yeah, we gotta edit our collider for that. Because we changed it so the sprite is flipped, it created a problem with our rotation. That's better now. So I'm going to edit our fast enemy, and I want to make it so he has more health, maybe. Maybe uh, four, so he takes like two shots to kill. Is, does he have four now? That save? Didn't save. Okay. Now he has four. So it takes like two shots to kill one now. Which is a lot better feel much more threatened, like I'm actually going to get hit. Pretty cool. And once again, there's not even a lot of enemies in yet. So let's start adding some enemies in. We can actually use our enemy script to make more enemies faster and faster, but I guess I'll do this next video. We'll make enemies that can shoot.
And that's probably it for this video. We made some good changes. We have spawning in now, which is very nice. Works well. We can spawn in waves. And we can grow our enemy roster as much as we want. So tune in next time, and we'll make some enemies that can shoot.